in today's video i will show you how to get rid of dry wrinkled hands and feet are you currently experiencing such a condition have you tried everything else and nothing seemed to be working then stick around with me to the end of this video let me give you possible solutions on how to resolve it are you ready let's go there to Tonto Skin Glow. On this channel, I'm all about skincare products, matching creams with different skin types, making creams and soaps. If this is the sort of thing that you are interested in, kindly subscribe to my channel. Let's be one big happy family. But make sure that when you subscribe, you press that little bell by the side of the subscribe button so you'll be notified anytime I have new video uploads. All right? let's get started recently i got so many requests from people asking me for what they can use to help them with their dry wrinkled hands and feet so i decided to make this video to share some things that i have been doing ever since because i also was experiencing dry wrinkled hands and feet there are so many reasons why this is happening all right if you have dry skin you might likely experience dry hands and feet if you have combination skin where some part of your body is dry some part of your body is normal or some part of your body is oily you might also fall into this category of condition also if you have mature skin where you even though you are young like 20 30 but you are looking like 60 70 yes that's when you can also experience this kind of thing that is what we call mature skin. And then there are so many things that can aggravate it. If you're already experiencing these kinds of things, there are so many things that you should not be found doing, right? But before I go into what aggravates it, I would like you to watch this very short video clip, after which I will come back to share things that you can actually do, serious things that you can actually do to resolve it. And then I will share the rest of my thoughts. So let's watch it ha ah, it's so cold out here back in africa i did not really appreciate what i had until i came to this country this place is so cold and also um i have dry skin so i decided to make this video because there are a lot of people who have dry skin when and during winter they always have issues with their skin and some of them start their skin starts to flake so now if you know that you have dry skin and 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 it's hamatan or winter season wherever you are then what you should do is it is better you bathe with either lukewarm water or blunt water when I say blunt water, I mean not very cold, not hot at all. I really don't know how you can place that, but if you can place it, it's all good, okay? Because um, warm water can be very drying to the skin. And then make sure you exfoliate your hands and your feet very often. Because for those people who have dry skin, it is it is very important that you exfoliate your hands and feet please do not use cream exfol exfoliating scrub okay the kind of scrub you should use is the one that has granules in it make sure every day during winter every day and night or every other day you exfoliate your hands okay and feet to keep it fresh if you do not do this your hands and your feet will begin to wrinkle and they begin to flake so i decided to do this because man i beg i can't wait to go back to africa this vacation during winter is well i thank god for everything if you want to know what type of exfoliating scrub that you should use there are different kinds of scrubs in the market but i have a video which i'm going to link in the description box below you see an example of an exfoliating scrub so you can use this for your hands and your feet most especially so 
that is that and then secondly make sure that you rub your hand and your feet with lotion every now and then keep rubbing it keep rub applying lotion on it keep applying lotion on your hands okay and then also keep applying lotion on your face anytime you take your bath do not go without rubbing lotion on your face okay i just decided to give you this tip and also if you know that you have natural wrinkled hands and feet it is very very important that you exfoliate your hands and your feet not only because it is cold out here but there are some people whether it is winter whether it is summer whether it is hamatan in africa or wherever they their hands are naturally wrinkled to remove your wrinkled hands and feet make sure you watch that video which i'm going to link in the description box below always exfoliate your hands every day and you apply your lotion i don't in fact since i came here i have been applying lotion every now and then on my hands it is very important sorry it is very important i apply this lotion every now and then on my hands to prevent to make it supple okay it's not good for your hands to be rough okay as a lady is not lady like okay okay i just decided to do this quick video i'm going inside now it's so 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 good so in addition to what you just watched in that video clip i want to say that there are so many things that can aggravate this condition okay now if you are always in constant contact with soaps it will surely aggravate this condition no matter the kind of cream you rub even if you carry vaseline and rub even if you use shea butter even if you use anything and you are always coming in contact with soaps you might actually experience this kind of condition all right don't forget that as an african woman the rate at which we produce melanin is usually very, very high. And also, there is an increase in melanin production in some areas of our body, like our joints, like where we, like where we have folds in our body. Of course, you know that we have folds in our joints, in our elbow, in our knee. We have folds around our knuckles. Then we also have folds around our feet. The hands and the feet are the toughest area of our body. So the way you will go about treating or caring for your hands and feet is different. Should be different from the way you go about caring for your body and your face. All right. So these are the reasons why you might be experiencing this kind of condition. Apart from what you watched in that video, there are so many things that you can do to actually resolve it. I'm going to be sharing what has been working for me ever since. And I believe that if you try it, it might also work for you. First of all, I can never go out without using my hand cream, okay? It doesn't have to be a special hand cream, all right? But if you go out there, there are a lot of creams that you can buy and they call it hand cream. If you have that, you can buy it. I think Avon, has a lot of variants of hand creams. There are so many companies that have been making hand creams. So you must not go out without your hand cream. And you must. What I do is that I continuously and constantly rub lotion or creams in my hands. I apply lotion and creams in my hands every two hours. The way I do it is I use shea butter and I mix it with my cream. So that is what I use. This is shea butter. What I do is I take a little in my hand like this. And then I add a little lotion to it like this. I rub it in my hands together. I use it to rub my hands and my feet. This has, I discovered that if I, I discovered that when I started applying this mixture, in my hands and feet every two two hours i discover that my hand began and also i apply and also i massage it after rubbing the hand and the cream i will massage the hand and the feet i do this every two hours so i discover that this has been working for me ever since also i try as much as possible not to have direct contact with soaps like in my last video you know i said that soaps are alkaline based all right and our body is acidic 
in nature, okay? So what I do is that if I want to do chores that involves me coming in direct contact with soaps, what I do is wear a protective covering. For example, as an African woman, I don't need I don't need machine to do my dishes. I do my dishes myself and directly with my hands. So what I do is that I wear this protective covering. This is a hand glove. I have lots and lots of these kinds of hand gloves in my house. First of all, what I do is that I bring out the hand glove. This is the hand glove. I moisturize my hands first with shea butter and hand cream all right after doing that i wear this in my hands if i want to do chores that involves me dipping my hand in water all the time so what i do is after applying that lotion first of all i wear this in my hand then i can use a rubber band to hold it together so with this i can safely and conveniently do my chores wash my plates and every other thing that I need to do, right? So this is how I do. And then, if I'm to wash clothes, right? What I do is that I use this other type. I use this other type of hand glove. This is more. This is stronger and thicker than this one. So I have different, various kinds of hand gloves in my house for different purposes. Now, for example, with this one now, because I cannot use this one to wash clothes. So what I do is I use this one. I, I First of all, I moisturize my hands. After moisturizing, I wear this hand glove. The reason why moisturizing is important before you wear your hand glove is because there is a powdery substance inside this hand glove and it can be very, very drying to your skin, okay? And then, of course, now do you know what is happening now during this pandemic? People have been forced to be wearing hand gloves and or, and mask, okay? So, but if you have, if you know you are experiencing wrinkled hands and feet, don't just wear your hand gloves just like that. First of all, you need to moisturize your hands, then you can wear this hand glove so that it doesn't affect you, okay? Away from applying hand gloves, I also use hand and feet mask, okay? So, this is the hand mask and this is the feet this is the one for the feet. These masks are a lifesaver. It has helped me ever since. This hand, uh, in fact, I have not even started using the hand mask because I do not have need for it because I have these hand gloves and then I have all of these hand gloves and then I have my shea butter and my moisturizing lotion. So I hardly use the mask for the hands, but the mask for the feet, I always use this because I don't have I do not have any special thing I use to protect my feet all right the way I use it is this after taking my bath and exfoliating my feet what I do clean up I do not add where I do not rub cream on my feet at the time before before I use this so after taking my bath I just remove one of these I cut it open and take out the mask, then I wear it on my feet. I wear it for like two to three hours before I take it off. I now moisturize my feet and my hands. And I use something like a nylon bag to tie my and put and wear it on my feet. So this is what I have been doing ever since. It has been working for me. My hands are no longer dry. My feet is no longer dry. It's now looking like it's now looking very very soft and like baby hands. So these are all the things that I have been doing that have been actually been protecting me. Especially this mask. By the time you use this mask, the first time, the second time you use it, it may not really really you may not see any effect when you continue Continue using it after a while you begin to see the effect of the mask and, and then this is the mask I don't know if you can get it anywhere near you if you cannot get it anywhere near you you can beat me up I can send it to you okay so this is actually very very good in fact this is let me say is a lifesaver all right so these are my few tips I decided to share this so that if there's any one of you who is going through 
these kinds of conditions you can actually go about it the best way do not forget you always moisturize your hand and feet every two hours all right so thank you very much if this video was helpful to you please press the like button and subscribe if you are yet to subscribe i love you all stay blessed and bye